to a dramatic high-speed chase in Broward County. It started in Fort Lauderdale, headed onto busy I-95, and then ended in Pompano Beach. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at the Broward County Jail, where the driver was just taken a short time ago. Ted. Yeah, Erica, that guy who was behind the wheel, is accused of being behind the wheel, was really pretty calm when he arrived here at the Broward County Jail. As a matter of fact, he was even smiling as he was taken out of the police car. Hey, how fast were you driving? Smirking at our camera while being booked into jail. This is the man who police say was behind the wheel of this Scion, speeding past cars in the breakdown lane on I-95 at the beginning of evening rush hour. Moments later, he slid across four lanes of traffic to the right shoulder. He was exiting at Atlantic with police in tow. Not worried about staying on the road, he went onto the grass to get away from cars. At some point, police say a woman who was in the car bailed out. Who was the girl who bailed? He just smiles, not saying who she was. As the chase continued, we watched that white car barely missing other drivers going the wrong way down streets and blowing through intersections, incredibly not hitting other drivers. It all came to an end on Northwest 6th Street near 27th Avenue in Pompano Beach. I just saw someone, um, the police were flying from that way to this way and took off that way. The door flew open as the car coasted to a stop and a BSO deputy rammed it, keeping the driver inside. With guns drawn, the driver stays put until a deputy pulls him out of the passenger side door, getting him on the ground. Craziness, that's all I saw. This whole thing stems from a Fort Pierce murder case. Police are after the car. They want to see if there may be evidence inside. Was there any evidence in the car? Shrugging off the question, the man taken into custody isn't telling. Instead, he stands pretty calmly looking at the camera. He's now facing charges for a high-speed chase, one that took police halfway across the county, putting countless others on the road and in neighborhoods in danger. And the question now, of course, was there evidence inside that car from that murder case in Fort Pierce? That car has been impounded, so police from Port Fort Pierce will come down here and take a very close look inside. Live at the Broward County Jail, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight.